Your first priority should be to protect your European possessions outside Spain itself. Flanders, Milan, Sardinia, Naples and Sicily are under threat from Protestants in the north and marauding Muslim powers in the Mediterranean. You will need to expand your armed forces in order to protect them. The heretic United Provinces have already risen up and reclaimed part of their homeland. It may only be a matter of time before they move against Flanders, so building up your forces there may also be wise. Although, try to avoid provoking the French or British in the process. In addition to its European possessions, Spain should also maintain trade routes to its Caribbean colonies, at the same time protecting them from both the United Provinces and Britain, who are very active in the region. Given the chance, rogue states such as these will cut you off from a major source of your wealth. So destroying their activities here may be the way forward. Well, you just saw what the, what the advisor said. So here we are, Spanish campaign episode number one. Hello and welcome, guys. This is the new series that got voted for the second place in the Empire to the War Let's Play that I should do. And holy crap, that's a lot of units. Let me just check what they have. Huh. Ah. It's actually quite cool. They already have some light infantry. But light infantry is not that particularly well. But they have marines. Um, they look they seem to be awesome. Let us check. What do we have? Three thousand seven hundred and eighty four per turn. Okay. Do we have any missions? So, um I don't remember what it was. Ah, okay, it was a long campaign. Difficulty, it is normal, normal, normal for the campaign, normal for the battles, and I need to conquer some of these provinces, which I really like, blah, 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 blah. So, let me see, who am I at war with? I have New Spain as my protectorate, Bavaria and France are my allies, I'm at war with the Cherokee, the Plain Nations, the Barbary States, and the Pirates. I'm trading with Venice. Okay. Westphalia would be a really nice ally, but... We can. We can make an alliance with them. Yes, we have an alliance with Westphalia. What am, why am I doing this? Because, well, Westphalia was a really awesome ally of mine. In my... Uh, United Provinces campaign, so that's why I'm doing it now. Any more awesome allies that I can have? That doesn't seem like it. New Spain's already. Protectorate, Morocco's hostile, Louisiana, the Knights of St. John, and the Italian states. Now, I do want the Italian states for myself, so I'll probably not do that. What are the good buildings that I can build in Madrid? It is the Royal Palace of Madrid and the War. The Royal Academy of St. Bernard, no, St. Fernando of the Fine Arts. Okay, so we should probably get on to it, probably. Yeah, let's get on to it. Need to build some roads. And here I want, let's go for Emperism first. Now I have two th two places to build ships from. Oh wow, Spain is a really really big um, thing. Is this is a galleon? Okay, let's let's keep them there for now. Let me just check everything that I have. I have this in Santo Domingo. This is Saint Augustine. Okay. Don't have got this in Madrid. Got this army will most likely put you back where you were. Got Felix over there with some light infantry. Ha ha ha. I can only recruit militias. That's not good. I need yep, military governor palace. Got you in there. 
I'm at war with no one over there, so I'll I'll keep you where you are. Probably make an alliance with Sawa would be good just for me moving them, or I could conquer them. That would be also a nice, 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 nice thing I could do. And then I got Diego de Cordoba over here in La Habana. Let me check my fleets. I got this one and this one. Which don't have that many ships of their own. Pity. And I don't really have anywhere to place this ship other than over here. So let's do it. Because I'd hate it for the pirates to attack me right off the bat and leave you there okay let me just focus a little bit on what I have here tobacco here another tobacco plantation I don't really have a way to get yeah there's no ah we can take Georgia and I can have a harbor over there so what uh, what can I build colonial infantry and colonial militias they look awesome looking one is clearly much better than the other so I'll get these two to form up the army I get myself a general here I can see the last name that this fellow has let's put them there And we have New Spain. Now, um, I probably will not do the quests they want me to do for the sake of, well, it, they are stupid. I don't, sometimes they'll want me to conquer a province that I don't really want, so I'll most likely not do it. So what can, some of these guys are quite expensive. The Irish regiment, though... This line infantry looks to be... Yeah, it serves my purpose much better. Much, 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 much better. So I'll get these two. Got an Irish Brigade and the Irish Regiment. Do two different things. What are the differences? This one has more attack. Less charge bonus than this one. They both have five more accuracy than a normal line infantry. So let's upgrade some of the things in here. Textiles, a church. It's completely Christian, right? It is. Now we also need to be wary of the Portuguese because we will probably go to war with them. Most likely. Here, do I need this? I'll most likely need this. You never know. And what else? I don't know. It's such a huge territory that the Spanish have conquered. How the hell did they conquer this? I do not know. I'll probably just destroy you because I don't really need you there. I make a school. And here make this. What are the differences in these militias? Yeah, the same price. One is clearly worse than the other. This one has more defense, so it can hold on much longer. Okay, that's the difference, apparently. You build another road. Probably probably going to put my invest in my money onto roads here. I can see their troops, right? I can. This game, this game has that. Good, so I'll probably... Put him there. Yeah, nothing else. That's good. We have France all the way there. So we are surrounded by allies. We have them, them, and the French. So probably our targets will be uh, Savoy, the United Provinces, Morocco, Portugal. And then, of course, these guys over here. I want better roads for faster movement and 
faster replenishment. Upgrade some of these. I don't really need that there, do I? Get these two colonial militias for La Habana. And you go there. Why can I recruit in here, actually? Marine Grenadiers. Ooh. Lovely. Colonial militia, colonial infantry. Huh. But what do I need? Improved grenades. Okay. That's alright. And is that all? I've already wasted 10 minutes in this. Wow, okay. Should I upgrade these? Might as well. It gives me more happiness. This one gives me more money. This one gives me more money. So I think... Yep, it's the end of the third... The third... The, 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 the turn again. The turn again. The, the, the turn finally. And... Please leave... And not uh, leave your comments in your opinion. Uh, no, I don't. I'm not gonna do that. Um, leave a comment in 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 this video saying if you guys want. Let me see. Their enemies with the Romans. Yeah, that might be good. Yeah. Um, leave a comment in the let in this video saying if I should cut. Give me a moment, Maratha. If I should cut the video where the entrance phase is going, or if I should just leave them if they take too long. And I'm not going to get on the lines with them because the, um, they are allied with France, so yeah, I'll probably get the one because they're allied with the French. Um, what was I saying? Yeah. Uh, if you guys want me to cut the entrance phase if it takes terribly long, which uh, doesn't seem to be taking too long now. And if I ju should just cut it and just say what happened in the entering phase and just give a brief summary of what happened. And that should be all for it. And the pirate phase is ended. Didn't take that long. Capture regions. They want Trinidad and Tobago, Texas and Curaçao. Okay. Trinidad and Tobago is pirate, right? Yep, it's pirate. I've completed those. I got myself some colonial infantry, line infantry, and colonial militias. And the Poland, Polish have declared war on the Ottomans. Don't know why, do not care. Hay una para el now, let me check. What are the opinions of the Portuguese towards us? Probably... Yep, unfriendly. Let's let's just get a trade agreement for now. Okay, goody. That way we can keep an eye on them. And okay, that seems to be good. You go inside there. We have some infantry, we have some artillery, one cavalry unit. They do. They're quite expensive, though. Should I? Just a little bit. Let me check my ministers. I haven't checked that actually. Management for treasury. Yeah, you're good there. You're not actually that good. Plus one to management. Plus one to management. Plus one to management for... For treasury. You should be... On his place. For navy. Okay. Do I have anything good? For treasury, I don't need more treasurers. I'm good with that. Okay, um, I'm tempted to put this guy in the army. Ah, nope, you're the one who's going on to the army. Plus one to management, except for treasury. Minus one to management. Nope. Plus one to management. Probably. Put you on. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, you're not that good. Put you there. Let me see. Plus one to management. No. I'm sorry if I'm actually boring you guys, but this is something I need to do. 
And apparently I'll have to keep this guy as it's just this guy. And this king, he is ugly. He is stupid. He is a horrible, horrible king. Look at this. Minus three to management. Let me and minus two prestige per turn. And then minus two to management, minus two prestige per turn. And at least I get plus two happiness for the nobility. Which is the only redeeming factor that he has. Corso terrestre guerrillas. Should I get some gorillas? Yeah, let me get some gorillas. Or these type. Yeah, I think these guys are much better. Uh, probably not use them. Yeah, I'll probably not use them. Can I have two of these? S Regiment of Sevilla of Regiment of Soria. I think the Soria Regiment is much better for my for my needs. Let me just check. Is he the king? He's, no, is he the son of the king? I think he is. But apparently he is worse than him. He only has one star. Oh, Jesus. Okay, uh, welcome back. Apparently I I must have edited it in in this video because, well... The, end for, the end turn phase actually took too long. Because Austria was still just doing nothing all the time. And we need to reinforce this province with some th something. Pac-Man will stay. The colonial militias will stay. So I need some infantry. Two more. Okay, what's our money like? 4,001. That's good. 100% Catholic. This one is zero percent Catholic. Okay, so they don't have much yet, so that's good for me. Now what? Should I make a navy here? I probably should. Uh, navy. I have fifth rate, a brig, and a sloop. But they are actually quite expensive, the ships. So I'll I'll hold on to that thought for a little while. And not buy anything for now. Now I want you guys to stand there. Because of the... Um, of attacking. And you, I want a school there. And that seems to be about it. We are trading with the Venetians, so should we make an alliance with them? I think we should. Uh, Venice, there you are. They're indifferent. Ah, they're allied with Austria and the Italian states. Ah, they're enemies with Poland. Too bad. Probably make an alliance with Louisiana. Military access indefinite. They have accepted. Now let's go to France. What do we have with France? I want military access in and out of your lands forever. There you go. Thank you. They're very friendly towards me. The Marth Martha are very friendly. Britain is not friendly with me. Not too much. And here, two turns and I will have a sort of an army. Probably. What can I recruit here? Just a normal infantry type, type thingy. Wait, where's the infantry? Can I really not? Oh, maybe it's the second, second type of building. Too bad. One turn and I will have some more technologies. And then I'll go for plug bayonet. How did the cross war on Alley? Oh, you got to be kidding me. I'll, I will of course have to stop the war with Westphalia because I don't want to break my alliance with France. 
Nor do I want to go at war with France. It's stupid of me to do so, such a thing. No, no, no. I, I will not do that. No, not in a million years. Yet. <laughs> but, 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 but. No, they're, they're not one of our objectives. We do not need to take Paris for ourselves. So, we should be fine. Yeah, we should be really fine. Now, good luck to Westphalia. You have been an amazing ally of mine, so... Austrian uh, provinces, Austrian Great Britain. I want to upgrade that. How's my money looking? Uh, it, it has dropped a little bit. Nothing too substantial, though. Now, let me get the plug bayonet. Okay. Okay. Prussia and Austria are at war. I go to Savannah and ooh. The Cherokee are bringing their armies over towards here. I do need should I recruit some frontiersmen? They are proper cheap, though. How many can I recruit? Five. Uh, let us recruit two more line infantry, and then we recruit two or three. Maybe just two frontiersmen, for now. Ah! Look at this! Savoy has declared war on us. This is actually something we wanted, so we'll, we will not call anyone onto this war. And there we go. They are besieging us, so... Militias, provincial... We only have militias. I have two line infantry, one militia. Howitzers, demi cannons. Yeah, we can hold this, so... I will fight this next time. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and of course, goodbye.